Is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this bitch recording? Oh, what's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grinder, Squirt, BGC, Jack, Facebook, Periscope, and last but not least, every single one of my bitches. Christian Mingle and the lands all across the land. This is your girl, T.S. Madison, and I'm coming to you loud, live, and always and forever in color from the Queen's Supreme Court. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we need you to get those drinks together, get your seats, and honey, get ready, because these shows are ones for the books. You already know how it goes, girl. You about to go to trial. Ah! <laughs> the Queen's Supreme Court starts now. Attention, Betty Mom! We got a residency, girl. The Queen's Supreme Court has found a home. I need you to report immediately to Mix Atlanta, April 4th, 2020. T.S. Madison will be coming to you loud, live, and in color with a very special guest judge. You can come out and watch us live! Visit www.eventbrite.com and get your tickets now. April 4th, 2020 is our very first date. Come on out and see me. Don't meet me, dear bitch. Beat me there. The views and opinions expressed on this program is just that. Views and opinions. Don't take any of it serious. But I will warn you, viewer discretion is advised. Live from the basement of a marvelous shelter, it's the Queen's Supreme Court. Wait, the bitch is it? Wait a minute. Did he say four, three, two, one? Mm -hmm. that, does that mean it's on? Yeah, we are. Yeah. Wait a minute. If we live, it will be doing something like this right here. I've been waiting to hear this. Oh, shit. wait a minute. Just, I've been waiting to hear this. You've been shit. waiting to hear that. Yo, I'm about to freestyle. Wait a minute. Hey. I had to put on my good bra hey. tonight. Hey. I had to put my good bra on tonight. There's something about this song, like this song I, just... Nigga, I had to put my motherfucking good bra on tonight. Mo, I need to see us on both screens. Yeah, Cause I gotta yeah. see that my screen. I need both, yes. <laughs> Set. Oh, you better, oh, wait a minute. Uh-uh, let me, wait a minute. This, well, I don't know what I would do my bra feel good tonight. I'm gonna fuck that shit. Let me move this one. Let me move this one. Wait, while you doing that, put that cup over there. Let me pour a little bit of this brown in the cup. Brown, pour it up. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Just a splash. Just a splash. Just a splash. Just a splash. I already pulled mine. That's why I'm like this. Wait a minute, you went. I got a butterfly. Ah. Yeah. Uh. Supreme Court. Ow! Bitch. Be oh, Craig, wait a um, minute. Don't fall now. No, I didn't. Ain't no insurance in here. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Don't fall. Don't That's fall. the first time I use my gavel tonight. That's right. I've been waiting to do that shit. Listen, 2020, bitch, we still in here, motherfucker. Titty bouncing. Ain't that son? I said I was taking it out the show, Craig. Don't ever, don't ever take it out. I said I was taking it out the show. Don't ever take it out. Don't take it out, baby. No, that's the heart and soul and titties of the show. Don't take that shit out. I said I was going to take that motherfucker out because, bitch, every time it takes two inches of cholesterol off my heart. Yeah. Keep you young. Keep me young. You. Not too much, Craig, okay? <laughs> Don't think because you eating flowers and, 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 and eucalyptus plants and things that you got the right quinoa and shit. <laughs> you motherfucker, you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Queen's Supreme Court. And tonight, yes. my special guest judge yes. is a sexy, fine. Thank you. Takes one to know one. Black, on. delicious, Ooh. chocolate. Mmm. I want to say a brother from another mother, but the way that I'm so excited up under this table, only if you can see hey. how excited I am up under this table. Yo. God damn it. Could that be my daddy? <laughs> <laughs> the night's still young. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hand together for writer, actor, yes. podcaster, yes. creator. Thank you, Madison. Innovator. Thank you, Madison. And most important, black man. Black. Man. Black, black. I'm a nigga. I'm a whole nigga. Like, black, in a way. black man. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dustin Roth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, if you don't know who he is, bitch, I, I command you in the name of all names to get down there to Google's and Google's this man. So Thank listen, you, listen. Before we before we even really get into this, you from Detroit, Michigan? Well, I'm from Flint, actually. Oh, you from Flint? I, grew up, I lived in Detroit. Shout out to Detroit, but I grew up in Flint, Michigan. Yeah. Before they flipped that switch. Listen, you know I ain't never been scared to drink the water. Listen, sip, sip. Ooh, pour me a cup. Okay. <laughs> Give me a bottle and a motherfucking okay. cup, nigga. You know. Hey, so shout out you, to Flint. You you um you're a writer for the read yes on fuse yes um you also have the uh friends the friend zone my friends podcast, podcast. The friends zone is turning five years old in August five years yeah. you've been doing this you got a five nappy head snotty nose five year old podcast yeah. Yeah. yeah do you have any children hell no what that's, don't that's say that like that I want some having kids. kids is ghetto I'm good. Oh, it is. Yeah, I'm straight on that. Lord, plus listen. I'm a, I told you I'm a practice. What I tell you I was. Oh, you said you're a practicing homosexual. That's right. So that means we only have kids when we want to. That's like the, oh. that's the dope part. So. so you are, so you identify as a gay man? On the weekends, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Well, what goes on during the week? Business. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, being a gay man on the weekend is definitely business too. That's right. <laughs> work, 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 work. Because being a trans woman seven days a week is definitely, <laughs> definitely work, work, okay. work, work, work. Um, and you know, I just wanted to say I thank you for coming doing a show show with me and I thank you guys for having me over at the Reed. Thank you. We wanted you. We we were we were determined to have you as a guest on the Reed. You came through, lit the shit on fire like we knew you were going yeah. to mm -hmm. and like we knew only you would. And we wanted people to know all the great shit that we knew about you. This shit, this this Queen Supreme Court shit is for the culture. Mm -hmm. And it's so important. It's got such a, a, a big impact. Excuse me, that's that Jack. It's got such a big impact uh, on the culture and shit. So I'm just happy to be here. Mm -hmm. I, I, I had to come be on the bench. <clears throat> Thank you, baby. We talked about this for a minute, too. I'm glad you're doing it, too. It ain't just me. Yeah. Making that noise. Like, yeah. It, you know, I was it, talking about the choke. It, <laughs> it get in the throat sometimes. Get the throat. <laughs> yeah. It get in the throat sometimes, honey. You <clears throat> gotta give it up, turn it loose. Oh, <clears throat> oh my God. Like no. It just was in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we get the, sto the show started, we're going to get a word from our sponsors. Our show would not be able to be what it is without the paying the sponsors, honey. We got to. The bills got to be paid. Yeah. Run and that listen, shit. Listen, let's run that shit. Let's hear a word from our sponsors. Listen, let me tell you something. If you want to step your pussy up, no, I mean, really, step your pussy up, like, I'm going to need you to march your ass on down. To the price is right, baby. Girl, this is income tax season. 
and ain't no better people to handle your income taxes than The Price is Right. My girl Ryan Parrish and her staff, child, they are certified tax professionals with a CPA on board. What? They will give you quality service that we all deserve. And bitch, the max refund bag. They offer tax planning, credit repair, and credit counseling, girl, in all 50 states. I need you to stop what you're doing right now and go follow all their social media handles for all the latest tips on your taxes, girl. Their info is listed below in the caption. Use code TS Madison. That's T.S. Madison for 15% off your tax returns, baby. Don't meet me there, bitch. Beat me there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the court, honey. You know, make sure you get down there. Use my code TS Madison for the price is right and get your motherfucking your taxes done. Right? The price is right, girl. Price is right. <laughs> get your motherfucking taxes done, honey. Get your taxes done. All right, let's just so let's jump right into baby. You ready to jump in? Oh, I'm so ready. To yeah. jump in. Yeah, it feels good to be on this side of the bench. I've been in court on the other side a few times. So it feels good to be on this side. So what, just, I ain't been to jail or no shit like that. Oh, I'm just saying. Like, oh, I got, oh, them, don't do I ain't that. got them stories for you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, because I got them. I'm just saying. You now, know, I got those I jail got stories now. Maybe like a little overnight, you know. Oh. But but nothing like, you know, no long term, you know. You ain't never been to prison. I ain't settled in, you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah, right, shit. right, right. So you basically, you haven't done what my daughter Chi Chi done did out here. <laughs> Man, Chi Chi done did some time. That's a ghetto punk over here. You was writing letters. You was writing Chi Chi letters. Chi Chi wrote me a letter too. Uh, <laughs> Chi Chi, you were there long enough to write a letter. I accepted a few phone calls. Yep, you know, what know what collect. I know she you have a call many. from. You had a call yeah. from Chi Chi. I know she didn't take many of your calls. Girl. Oh, I took. Oh, that's my daughter. I won't take many of your calls <laughs> when you go to jail. <laughs> Them calls are expensive. I won't take many of your, but I took a lot of my daughter Chi Chi calls because I know she was a child. Yeah, I know you she had to talk to Chi Chi. Yeah, I had to because Chi Chi was out there. Fighting. You know, Chi Chi's a real. Listen, people underestimate the power of the gay. Yeah. The gay dollar strong. Mm -hmm. the, the gay, gay hand is strong. The gay windmill strong. Hell yeah. We've been persecuted for all them motherfucking years. You finally get grown. You know what I'm saying? Can run your life. And you think you finna let a motherfucker dog walk you through the streets? Right. No. You finna meet your death, nigga. Like, right. And we actually enjoy that shit. That's why you, you know, this is really like refrain. Problematic. Refrain. Oh, yeah. Calm, yes, calm, calm down. Why, in the why don't you? Yeah, calm down. <laughs> why don't you? Calm yeah, like Miss Sophia said, calm down. Right. Yes, you know, we some homo thugs out here. Right. You ain't heard right. about the Maddie Mob, motherfucker? That's right. You homo thugs. You know, that's homo thugs. your ass in style. Yeah, you know that's what I'm the, the, the homo thugs is comprised of gay and straight tendencies. Don't play with it. <laughs> you know, the, the gay women are getting stronger than a motherfucker. You don't want to get up on it, bitch. Strong. Who? All right, so we let's just jump right on into this. First up on the court ledger is our our black queen okra. Okra. <laughs> Shout out to Ari Lennox. Don't get, don't get my girl too much now. Okra. <laughs> okra. 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 Damn. Stop. Don't get my girl too much. Girl too much. <laughs> Slimy okra. ass okra. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okra, okra, ten feet. <laughs> Damn. Okra, I love you. <laughs> Damn, we are not love her. That okra, ten feet. Slimy ass okra. <laughs> slimy ass okra. Nasty slimy ass okra. Oh, God. I love you, bitch, but you, Oprah did that shit to herself, though. We never would have disrespected her Ever. blatantly like this before. Ever. Ever. But you know, she did that shit to herself. <laughs> to be honest with you, I've, I've loved, I've loved, oh, 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 it's so hard. I've loved Oprah Ten Freaks for, <laughs> for so long. And then it's just like when that stuff started going on, like I, the, the first thing that really kind of turned me, and, I, and, I'm, and let, me let me say this, let me for the record say this. Mm -hmm. Oprah Winfrey is our black queen. Yeah. She is. But just because you are our black queen does not mean that you are above reproach. At all. And you can't be reprimanded for some of the shit that we are disappointed in you as being our black queen. Absolutely. And you did Tony Braxton wrong. Ooh. 
Why well, told you you seen that shit? Exactly. That Gucci flatware and shit. Hating on Tony. She Braxton. says I'm Oprah Winfrey. And I don't even have Gucci. Well, uh, that's Gucci your motherfucking like, problem. Even they made Gucci flatware. And I'm Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> <laughs> And then listen, not only did she say she's up with then mom then mama said <clears throat> to Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson told mama's, Oprah. Yeah. <laughs> Oprah. 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 <laughs> I was like, Michael, wait a minute. Oprah. <laughs> mm. Oprah. Oprah. And now we know why like he said did. it like that. I ain't like the way she did, Michael. I ain't like the way she did that shit either. That's he Michael like the way motherfucking she did. Jackson. He ain't like the way she did. And he Tony. didn't do it either. No, I right. Michael Jackson, he lying, do ass, it. lying ass Wade Robson, who has already been proved, like everything he said has been debunked and proven to be untrue. He then came out and said he was lying. And now once this Surviving R. Kelly shit kicked up, then he want to come out and, oh, I guess it's a good time to be, you know. Honest. Yeah, and so let me just switch this narrative. Nah, nigga, Michael Jackson ain't do that. Bitch. And then Okra sent her slimy ass over there. Right. <laughs> with corn on her toes, girl. Right. <laughs> All Not knowing the words to nothing. Yeah. So, you know. <sighs> but anyway, so she failed. She failed. Yeah. I mean, no shade. I, I didn't. Honestly, I will be honest with you, Destiny. Mm -hmm. I will be. I did not laugh when she failed. Well, I did. You but, but, yeah, but, but. I laugh because it's funny to see people fall. I didn't laugh because I was like being mean spirited specifically towards Oprah. Oprah is an older black woman. My mama 66. is an older black woman. I don't want to see their fall. You know what I'm 66. saying? Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oprah's 66 and she loves bread. And she loves bread. <laughs> bread. Oprah. 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 You know? But them shoes wore her ass them out. Them shoes. Listen, if you watch the video very close, like we're going to watch, yeah. there's that, you see that line in the floor? Yeah. The funny thing about it was, I really didn't laugh, but it was just the irony of her walking on the damn floor yeah. and stepping down in that thing, girl, honey, and... Wait till that next, uh, wait till her next uh, show. She about to have a set, a couch. Oprah gonna be sitting down. She ain't gonna be getting up walking around talking to y'all motherfuckers falling again. But the thing about it was the way it happened, she was talking about balance. Balance. And that shit was so, it just was so, it was the irony of that. Play the video. Let's roll the footage. Just look at it. You have to name it to claim it. So here's my definition of what wellness means to me. This is my definition, not yours. Just an idea. Because you're going to be defining it for yourself. Wellness to me means all things in balance. And balance doesn't mean all things are equal or at peace at all times. Oh. Wrong shoes. You have to name Everybody it in the audience could see it. Were you thinking, oh my God, this is embarrassing? Or were you thinking, I'm just going to roll even, with it? I, I, I didn't even think embarrassing. I just thought, okay, I fell. Everybody knows what falling is. You would prefer not to not fall. To fall yeah. But now I fall. My most th my thing was, I'm falling. I can't get up. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> uh, Oprah, what, Oprah, what you said? I'm falling and I can't get up. Okay. And I love bread and okra. <laughs> Oprah bust her ass. She that bust whole, the ass. whole arena knew what size shoe that bitch wore, too. You seen, they seen the soles of her feet. They so that she went down, feet. it looked like the Wiz. The yeah, Wizard of Oz when the house went down. the house fell on her head. Hell, you seen with them shoes. And then, listen, quiet as it's kept on her. The, 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 the people say, the streets was talking to say that was the ghost of Micah and Kobe. Oh, Kobe. Right. They said Kobe stuck his foot out. Yeah. <laughs> bitch. They said you know. that baby was like, bitch. You know, his little yeah, baby. Yeah, the baby like, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Bitch. She I took mean, that pacifier out, that nook. Here's the thing. Uh, that she she gonna get it after this. Here's the thing. I mean, we all done tumbled and fell in in, in, a, in a place that we didn't yeah, want to. Yeah, but not on stage. Well, let me tell you a falling story about okay. me. <laughs> you know, I've been a girl for a long time, baby. Mm -hmm. And um, I was out one night at this place called Disco South Cross the Track and Ghouls. <laughs> when I tell this story, what somebody- was What was it called, Maddie? Disco South Cross the Track and Ghouls. And ghouls. Mm -hmm. Now, somebody out there that know me is going to recall this story. <laughs> I was walking through, like, and I was real cute. Okay. Right, real thick. Mm -hmm. And I had some glass, some glass stripper heels. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you know when you're a transsexual, honey, at a young age, you think you a scrubber. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So I'm just walking through, tipping. I mean, tipping through, walking through all the boys. Titties was freshly done. Body was sickening, honey. You know, petite. Walking through petite. <laughs> yes, there was a time I was petite. 
petite walking petite. through, honey. And I, my head was held so high, I didn't yeah. see the pothole that was coming in front of me. My head was held so high that I didn't see the pothole that was in front of me. Damn. So I'm tipping, tipping, and I tipped one last time and went down the hole. Everybody fell out laughing. Oh Everybody. And one trade in particular was laughing so hard, laughing, laughing, laughing. Like he thought that shit was so funny, like, you know. So after he thought it was so funny, I got up and I dusted myself off, honey, because you know during that time Aaliyah was if it first you don't succeed. <laughs> Dust yourself off. Right. Yeah. Okay. Dust yourself off and try it. You okay. know, I got up and kept going, you know, because at the end of the day, I'm still gonna be a punk, a badass punk. That's right. it. With fake ass titties, fake ass and niggas still gonna want That's me. That's it. Right. You know, so they all laugh. And about two minutes later, honey, the same trade that was hot and laughing, honey, you know, had his drink, you know, who's that? Walked and fell in the same pothole. Same goddamn pothole. Bitch, when Dumb I tell you, nigga. I took my shoes off and ran up and down the street laughing at him. <laughs> I was like, not nah, nigga. Yup, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you didn't know we was the same, you know the day. You know now. <laughs> yes. So, you know, everybody take a little tumble. You know, Beyonce done fell. Yeah, she got the fuck Paul back Michelle. up. Paul Michelle. Paul Michelle. She was just, she just on, said her legs scarred up from that shit. Michelle fell on BET. Yeah. Wrong sex apart. Ooh. She's like, that's like BET. <laughs> I was like, what? Michelle. Mind you, Kelly and them was like, Girl, I was like, girl, why the hell you keep? Girl, I have been on that floor like, bitch. Be, I seen how you look. Listen to what Beyonce me up. Man, listen the way Beyonce looked at her like, bitch. Did I tell you the okay. next time you fall, this was it. The group was done. Okay. okay. <laughs> Beyonce looked over at that window real quick. Look, bitch. Did I tell you the last, the last time we had a team meeting, your ass fell like <laughs> that. The I told team meeting, you. the group was done. That's it. <laughs> I'm cutting you off. Okay. That was it. That was it. Baby BET was gone and, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, we just, we, we all gonna fall fall down one day. But as long as we got up, Oprah got up. She got up. And what they say, uh, every knee shall bow. And right? every tongue shall confess. And that's it. So, uh, and every knee shall bow. Get up, Okra. Get up, Okra. Even though you're slimy. Get yeah, up. Get up. Get up. All right. I don't know if it was the shoes that had her fall or was it them six toes she got. You oh, know she Lord. got six toes. The little, little off The little stand out yeah. toe. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> you know that look. Mm-hmm, the celebration toe. The pinky yeah, pinky toe. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> the pinky pinky toe. The little pinky toe. The little pinky toe. <laughs> that probably was poking out of the shoe. Oh, ooh, oh. The motherfucker was protesting that. <laughs> <laughs> the pinky toe was like, hell no. Hell no, we won't go. You know, bitch. Speaking of toes, next up on our court ledger, a hospital employee <laughs> was arrested for it? sucking patients' little toes. What? Well, we do know if he had, if Oprah was rushed to the hospital, she definitely would get her toes <laughs> yeah. sucked by this motherfucker. <laughs> I want to look at this ugly motherfucker. Let me look at this look guy. Look at this nigga. You're a mean one. Exactly. Mr. Grinch. <laughs> God damn. You're a nasty toe sucking bitch. God damn, man. Where is Lee County? Somebody find out. It's a Lee County it's in every. Florida. It says in Florida. I it's knew Florida. that was in Florida. What Lee... the fuck is going on in Florida? Uh uh-uh, uh, Dustin, don't do that. <laughs> well, you from Miami. Right? I am from Miami. Okay, we like like talking about Florida. Well, well, I was, what I heard was Miami was Miami oh, and Florida okay. yeah, is Florida, you right, right? You right, you right. See, let's right. line you this right. shit up. Yeah. You right, you this right. This motherfucker in Florida. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nigga, what did you taste, though? That Was it butter, peanut so butter? So who, who's, whose toes was this nigga sucking? The patient's. And what job did he have that he had access to the patient's toes? Mo, can we go back and look at this man's face <laughs> one more time? I need to look at him. Uh, what is a dietary... This, this man 23? I know you motherfucking lying. This, is he from Uganda? This motherfucker, Tarana Burke looking at the, who, what in the heck, what? That's a, oh listen, his mouth do look like his. Offset, upset. You say offset, upset? That's upset, hell yeah. Oh my God, you know, Damn. when I'm looking at him, it, it, I'm looking at him like, you say you got something for me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just what they'll do. That's right. That's what I feel like he want to say. Ooh, this is strange. But he said he what? His job, he's 23. His job was a <laughs> sitter. So he was supposed to sit in the room with different patients. So the third patient felt him sucking on his toe. <laughs> my God. That, my that God. was the one still had that, the nerve sense, of, the nerve <laughs> right. tingling in, in their foot. Yeah. He pulled the sheet back. And, you know, it was a and nigga? He was down there. Right. He was, well, it doesn't say if the if the patient was a male or female. He, 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 he ain't give a fuck what the what, what the foot was on. Clean. Clean, yeah. 
Oh my gosh. ASMR. Right. Damn, so this nigga sucking toes in the goddamn hospital. You can't even go get help. You, <laughs> you can't have, you even go get better. God damn, like, you got to, what the fuck? Let me ask you something. Do you have a, a foot fetish? Yeah, I actually do. I love, like, pretty feet. It's important to me. It's actually a deal breaker. Like, I don't even fuck with you. If your feet fucked up, uh, we ain't got no dealings. So like, you period. Madison, you ain't got a chance. Bitch, you're crazy. I got <laughs> Don't you play me. I got bitch. Bitch. <laughs> You just need a cr little cream, that's all. That's all I need, some lotion. No, your, your feet are nice. You just I do have cream. pretty feet. They might be a little fat, but they pretty. Fat <laughs> 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 They fat and ass. Yeah. I just feel like it ain't no excuse. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no excuse. It ain't no reason why you're not getting in between your toes. You know what I'm saying? So lotion you kind of feel shit. him, but you just don't feel him at the hospital. I mean, well, yeah, and I suck toes because all, you know, like consent is a thing. You know what I'm saying? So I, yeah. Yeah, oh, so they be you, want so me to suck their toes, not laying up in a guy on dialysis. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my fucking to get like, shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> like I'm already on my last leg and shit, and you gonna suck the other one? Like what the fuck? Is well, wrong it might with be you? it might have been therapeutic for the patient, <laughs> and only one, you know, because yeah. you said consent. Consent. I would have consented. I would have. I would have kicked that motherfucker's so, face off of his head. Are you crazy? You wake up and your toes in some in that motherfucker's in that, mouth. In his mouth. Right. Yeah. Shit. So I got a question. I got an answer. So when you suck toes, does it give you an erection? Nah, this is a toe sucking episode. Does it what? Give you an erection? Yeah. Mm. That's why you put your mouth on it in the first place, cause it's sexy. So, Craig, when you eat ass, <laughs> when you eat ass, Craig, uh -huh. does it give you an erection? It does. Mm. But so does kissing. I love kissing. kissing is so important. it's something about the or it's the oral, the mouth. I don't it? think it's necessarily an oral fixation, but like if you have, if somebody has a, a nice, clean, pretty, well maintained foot that you yeah, can tell yeah. they've been working on and taking care of it, and that don't mean clear toenail polish. Okay, because you motherfuckers go down to the spot and get your feet done and think you have pretty feet. You don't. You just got your toenails polished. Right. But when you have really invested, you know what I'm saying, and made sure that your shit is good, I think it should be rewarded. So do you, so when you have an erect penis. <laughs> yes. Girl. No, I just need to get this toe stuff. When your penis is erect and yeah. the toe, the foot, yes. has left the mouth. Yeah. Do you take the foot and put it around your penis? If you got, if you put like lube on the feet, yeah. So, okay, so you fuck, so you you have fucked feet. No, I'm not gonna fuck your feet if the hole is right behind it. Like, why why I'm gonna waste my time on your feet when you can put it where it goes? You know what I mean? Sometimes you just have to stick to the rules. But you've seen feet fucking. Yeah. Feet. Okay. Like but that ain't for you rough foot motherfuckers though. You gotta be smooth under the bottom, otherwise you get abrasions and shit. Like you can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh uh. Now, what was your question to me, Craig? I I'm said, sorry. Do you like your toes, sir? I have enjoyed that. It was strange to me the first time that it had it had happened. Yeah, your foot was in somebody's mouth. Yeah, it was strange. That's strange. And it was like a little. <laughs> but then you was like, oh. Okay. And then I had an erection, and I said, "Come on up. <laughs> <laughs> come on up. Moving on up. Yes, come on to the east side, okay? <laughs> leave the leave that shit at the bottom, Lord. Come on up, you okay. know? <laughs> bitch. You know, step your pussy up." <laughs> All right, speaking of stepping up the pussy, <sighs> Pat Houston. Oh, my God. Pat Houston, we done told you. I don't even give a fuck you. what it's about. Fuck Pat Houston. Pat Houston, we done told you about fucking off and fucking around with Whitney Houston Estate. You, it is a shame and a disgrace that you got this hologram out here. This one? This hologram <laughs> out here disgracing this woman's legacy and name. We the peoples know that this don't look shit. Nothing. Mm. It don't look what? Shut! <laughs> like Whitney Houston. Play the motherfucker damn. Don't put no sound on the bitch. Ain't no sound on it. So we gonna talk oh, all good, over this. Cause they got Whitney Houston looking like 2K. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck kind of EA Sports ass Whitney Houston is this? Go ahead, let's see it. Fuck Pat Houston. This, this is oh, a problem. Look at this. Look Hologram. at this. Now in this song, I mean this video, she's singing, I believe the children of the future. What's the name of that? Ain't no future in this. Right, ain't no future ain't in Ain't no future friend. or no cheering in this oh, motherfucker. No color. Ain't no color in that. They got this bitch looking like Lisa Turtle. <laughs> <laughs> and Donald Trump ain't looking at his mother right. sitting there looking at that shit like, go Whitney. And what kind of loser are you to go see a goddamn hologram? Wow. 
Right. Why Why are they not listening to the fans of Whitney Houston? Because it's Pat Houston's money hungry, greedy, rotten ass. That's Rot- why. Yes. It's Pat rotten. Houston motherfucking asses. She been the problem. And this is a prime example of her continuity to be the problem even after death. Whitney is dead. Yes. And Pat Houston is still fucking with us. Right. Because this makes me angry. Like, this don't make me regular angry. This make me real fucking angry. Pat Houston ain't the shit. I knew she, I might, she ain't shit. I remember when they, remember when they did that reaction reality show right after Whitney died. Yes. And she has uh, sissy, senile ass all up on the camera looking <laughs> confused and moved, not knowing where nothing was. Bobby Christina was in there with her hair looking like it looked at that time. And shit. <laughs> we wanted better for her. That was Whitney's baby. You yes. know what I'm saying? So somewhere along the line, it became cool to watch them be presented in a way that wasn't like what they deserved. And I don't know. I just blame Pat Houston for all I do. of it. Fuck and Pat Houston. So, Pat Houston, we're sentencing you to a lifetime of being a hologram. Yes, you a hologram. You are a hologram, honey. Grum. It's Showtime Synergy. That's Haul right. ass, bitch. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Sick of that shit. Fuck let Pat her, Houston. Let Whitney Houston rest in peace. Now, Whitney, wherever you at, okay, whether you up or bottom, whether you top or bottom, whether you or you in between, you know damn well that y'all was in that bathroom smoking that shit together, sniffing and smoking together, and you Absolutely. done fucked up and signed over your damn rights to this one. How in the fuck did you, your brother don't got it, but your sister-in-law do? Pat. And you know, you, you must knew your mama was going to have dementia. And where was Robin ass? You want to come out with this book now and tell us how good of a friend you was and shit, bitch? How you let Pat Houston make it past the gate? She was worried about that Bobby dick. Mm-hmm. Bobby, she was worried about that. She wasn't worried about see, and it was the sisters' law that was fucking all the time. It's just, it's just too much. And once again, I just think it's so grossly disrespectful to Whitney Houston's legacy that they're even doing this shit. Like this is ridiculous. And anybody that go see that Whitney Houston hologram, then you got what you deserve. That's right. You, you know ain't shit, and your mama don't know how to cook grits, bitch. At all. <laughs> And if you ain't never had grits, your mama don't know how to scramble eggs, bitch. And we still don't care about your daughter, Pat Houston. She wanted her daughter to, like, happen. She was putting her on that show. She was giving, putting her, like, in the front of the cameras and shit on that show. And we don't even know her name today. So that's a bit indicative of how much we give a fuck about Pat Houston. We don't know her name. <laughs> and I swear. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Ciao. I know y'all about to get outraged for this uh, next thing that we have up on the court ledger, but girl, it is what it is, honey. Reach, scratch, reach around and scratch your ass and get glad. Yep. Carlton from Real Housewives of Atlanta got engaged to a woman and waited four weeks before their wedding to tell her he's bisexual. Well, he's what? He's bisexual. Actually, he's a practicing homosexual. <laughs> so Carlton is my friend. Right? He is. Carlton is my personal friend. Okay. I've known him for years. Um, and I, uh, to me, right, because I see this conversation going on all over the internet about how people feel and their takes. But to me, when you're a part of a fucking social experiment, let me, let me you know what I'm saying? Into this. When, I mean, when you're a part of a social experiment where you are uh, agreeing to participate in a situation where you're going to marry a motherfucker you ain't never seen in your life. You ain't really got the wiggle room to be mad if I got with a nigga before or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, that kind of, like, forgives all of that. So this whole, people keep trying to say, like, he did her wrong or he was disingenuous and all that other shit, and that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Transparency is important in relationships. But in this case, it just don't fucking matter. Ah, I get it. To sum it all up, this was only for television. This was a television relationship, sweetie. So, I, I just think, you know, like, I, I, what I will say, though, is this. This is a great opportunity to open up the conversation to bisexuality and to the, the, the range and the spectrum of sexuality as a whole. And I applaud my friend for being brave enough to put his shit out there like that, knowing he was going to get the hate that he's getting now and still get this conversation started. You see, like, black women who actually hate this, this is their worst nightmare, right, a bisexual man. So... The conversation is beginning and people are starting to have to rationalize and ask themselves some tough questions, some hard questions. Some real deep. Some hard Deep, questions, hard questions. You know, and, and just really confront those sort of ideals that they have inside of them and, and what they're rooted from. I have questions. Okay. All right. So here's some of my questions. 
okay, this is a television show wedding. This yeah. is a television show storyline. So people out there that are angry with this man, let it go. There was TV. Entertainment. It was entertainment. Let it go. The man is, was, okay, may and, I ask And, and that's question? not saying that we don't get why people are, you know, st are stimulated by this. Mm -hmm. But it is entertainment at the end of the day, so. But may I ask, is he bisexual or is he a practicing? Well, I'm not having sex with him. You know what I'm so saying? So you don't so know I don't his know, sexuality. But, I, but from what I know of my friend, and I've seen him in relationships with women, and I've seen him in relationships with men. Okay, so he is bisexual. Yeah. Okay, cool. Like but in real life. But he ain't with her, though. Nah. Right. Okay, cool. So now I got other questions. Okay, what's up? <clears throat> <laughs> Have you ever been bisexual? Have I ever had sex with a woman? Yeah. Have you ever been bisexual, though? You mean like have I ever been sexually active with women and men at the, like concurrently? Yes. Um, no. So you've never been bisexual, nah. but you've had sex with a man and a woman. I have. Have you had it sex with great. a man and a woman <laughs> at the same time? Maddie, this is not. Um... Cause I want to see. I we'll want you to open. I want you to open up so I can open up and have right. a conversation. Right. Open right. up, we'll right? Um, uh, you know that happens, and I, I just think that <laughs> sexuality is such a, a brilliant um, entity because it really allows you to be expressive in ways that you wouldn't otherwise be. It's certain things. It's like nonverbal. All, non these, edu all these educated. It's nonverbal communication. It's certain things that I can't say to you, but I could. I could make you understand those emotions through physical touch. Okay. So. Yeah. Well, for me, I'm going to break it down, what he was saying, okay? What he said was... I got to go to work after this, Maddie, so I can't even be, you know... I know, babe, so I ain't going to be dirty with Thank it. Thank you, Maddie. So <laughs> what, I, what he said is that everybody has a right to have their identity mm -hmm. on what they want to have sexually. You understand what I'm saying? And one, I, what I've gathered from my judge, he stated that this is a television program. It was entertainment. However... The, the, a woman's worst nightmare is for her to be with a bisexual man. I get it. Yeah. Because me, I don't like men that mess with other men either. <laughs> Shit, me either. <laughs> 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 Shit, okay? So I don't like the mother... Ooh, I don't like the mother... See, there we, I almost had an okra moment. But <laughs> I don't like it either. So I get it. Me as a trans woman, this may make some of y'all mind flop out. If a man is attracted to Craig and me at the same time, I really don't want to be with that man. Now, that don't mean I won't fuck that man <laughs> because it's a big difference in between so me who having a... who you take who, home Yeah, who, yeah who I want to have sex with and who I want to be with. You understand what I'm saying? Because I can have sex with Craig and even though I know Craig is a woman. <laughs> it's at the same time, you know... Have sex with him as a woman. But my, my thing is this, right? Like, this conversation has spun out of control and has become so centered around bisexuality mm -hmm. and that's really not even what this was about. This was a conversation more about like radical transparency in relationships, mm -hmm. and it, and I think that the the focus should have should be on how much how transparent you need to be when you're meeting a person, and how much of yes. your your history and your past, I guess, well, uh, let's play circumstances devil's advocate you here. are responsible mm -hmm. to share. Let's play devil's advocate here. Okay. Do you walk in the door and you tell a woman off top, "Hey, I like to." Dibble and dabble in all things. Or is it difficult to do that, especially with black women? Well, it's difficult. Disclosing that sort of information is difficult anyway because it opens the door for judgment. Mm -hmm. And so that's where people are a little bit apprehensive about sharing those types of things. But I, to me, there's a way. To me, I do think that you are responsible to share that information with a person that you are going to that needs that that needs to know that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so, but there's a way to do it where it doesn't become burdensome and it's not like you can you finesse that shit. Like, bitch, I like niggas. Yeah, I like you and I like niggas. Like, yeah, that's sexy. You know, to you, me. you do it. You now, know, if you, a you nigga make tell it. Me, if a nigga said to me that way, bitch, I like you and I like niggas. My pet is coming down. I hope he is do too. <laughs> but. <laughs> I mean, you know, all serious. Let me, let me. I'm joking, right, but right. let me be serious about the situation. I do think that information like that needs to be disclosed to women. I do, absolutely, and to men too, absolutely. Because you bitches is eating pussy, and the thing about it is oh. that's cute. You know what I'm saying? That's fun and shit. Do the shit, shove a cucumber in each other, and do all that shit. That's acceptable, and that's that that is normalized almost. But as you can see by the outrage that has happened by Carlton even presenting that story, it's it's just a, it's received a bit differently. So, 
Yeah. But here's what I'll say. And I get it. I, I, I get it. Series, you know what I'm saying? I love the series. Like, I've been talking about that series since it came on. Always one of the so things that people were complaining about, Thank too, you, or outraged about, was that the way that he lashed out at her. So, yes, they were, yeah, yeah. They were, they were talking about the bisexual thing and whether or not he should have told her up front. But they were also upset at the way that she he lashed out at her, called her a bitch, and this is why I don't fuck with bitches like you. When oh, he she, said that. When she he probed, did. When she probed him, she was really just asking for clarity. Because I think, as a person who watched the show, I think she was really going to stay. But she was asking for clarity. She was really asking him, so is this something that you're still attracted to? Are you, you know, she was asking mm. questions. And he got really defensive. Tested. He got really Very defensive. defensive. And he yeah. called her a bitch. He talked about her wig and... Oh, he did. Well, her wig needed to be talked about, but I, but but <laughs> that's isn't. that's none neither here nor yeah. there. Like I, I don't. I don't okay, know. now that I see, because I didn't know, I didn't know all that. Like I don't think a woman, like after you, after she finds out you're that you're bisexual or you're or whatever, you, that you should go off on a tangent like that and calling her a bitch. You know, for and things like that. You know, if she wants clarity, right. because it's like for me, like you know, I, listen, I, I'm in the gap with that too. Right. Everybody don't know my, that, I, that I got motherfucking sausage and potatoes right. in my pants. <laughs> Everybody don't know I got a stew down there. They don't yeah, know that. Right. And then, you know, it, it be up to me. Like, you know, because I'm out, I'm out, titties out, mug out, ass out, stomach out, because niggas like fat bitches too. Right. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And then, you know, they like little shouty, you know. Ah, so, and and you I know, know you, ain't, you ain't approaching niggas like, so I need to tell you this. And then, oh. No, you just be like, so I mean, well. No, I mean I don't. I got, see. That's I don't. I don't got time. I like to fuck. Okay. You like I like to fuck. So I don't waste time. <laughs> I don't waste time. Baby, you do know that. Um. <laughs> 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 and they go to their own way. That. Baby, you like sausage and potatoes. <laughs> Hey. And he tell me he likes sausage and potatoes. I'll talk about living sausages. I, I mean, okay. Living so, potatoes. so I get why she was upset, and and I do think that's information that is pertinent to a, a growing relationship that you plan on nurturing for some long term shit. And just in general, if you're gonna engage in like sexual behavior or whatever, yes. it's important that you you yes. you, you are forthcoming with, with that. that type of information. I'm with that. And he did that, and the reaction was what it was. You know, the conversation got a little bit um, contentious between the two of them, mm -hmm. and. You know, they responded the ways that they did, but I'm really uh, proud of him for stepping into this fully because he's actually been responding to the criticism that he's been getting, um, having one-on-one -on -one conversations, especially with black women. It's mm -hmm. been very important to him that he, he, he specifically reaches out to black women um, and lets them know like that, that just his intentions. And yeah. So I'm proud of the work, the way that he's handling all of this, because it's got to be difficult to be under that type of scrutiny. You yes, because honey, when I have to tell about sausage and potatoes, you know, it'd be difficult at first. And I'm like, is you going to eat or not? Nah? That's it. You going to munch? You going to munch or not? Nah? munch. And if they say or not, nah, well, tell your friend that's been calling me to call me back. I stopped letting him call me because you was on my line. But see, that's the part of the conversation they don't want to talk about, because the friend is calling you. Mm. Next mm. to the docket. No, we still on this because oh, we got to no. move forward because your friend has something great that's out. Am I correct? Love is blind. No, that's that's, that's the show. show. That's, that's the show. This oh, is on Netflix. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I haven't watched. Yeah, I haven't been privy to watch the show. Netflix, the show. Oh, so all this was on the show. So this was this scripted? No, no it's a reality no, show. It's a reality. Yeah, it's basically for people who want to get married. And so they go into these. these oh, okay, bodies. I get. Okay, now I just coming. Okay, so the the show was it was it was a teaching mechanism. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get so it. So they got engaged, Madison, sight unseen. Right. Carlton and the young lady Diamond, who he asked to marry him, had not seen each other physically oh. before the engagement. And so after uh, he asked her to marry him and she agreed, they saw each other physically. Oh. And then they went to Mexico on a vacation um, to bond oh, as a couple. And how long did they know each other before the marriage? Thing? I think it was like seven days. Yeah. So oh, they were talking girl. in these pods. It's kind of like a confessional. Like, Do you understand place. what I'm saying to you? Like, like, so like, you don't even have the room to even have. Why y'all like, ain't tell me all this right. stuff up? Before. This, so, this. so the experiment is to get you all this shit tossed out. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. This Thank shit you. is tossed out. Thank I ain't you. know this. I'm thinking this shit was some real ass. Even though, girl, next case. Let's talk about something that really need to be tossed out. Mike Bloomberg has been on oh the campaign God. trail. He's been pandering to black folks because he cannot win without the support of the coloreds. Craig, you wrote this like this? Wow. Yesterday I was... I didn't put colors. You, you wrote colors, nigga? I did not put colors. I said, not the support of black folks. You 
you got a docket over there. What does it say over there? Color. Yesterday it was the. Thank you, babe. Thank you, babe, for backing me up. It does not say color. Thank you for backing me up, baby. <laughs> Yesterday was the 55th anniversary of Bloody Sunday. Bloomberg yep. was speaking in black church in Selma, Alabama, and about 12 congregants yeah. stood up and turned their backs on him as he spoke. So Bloody Sunday, for those who may not know, it's when uh, a lot of black folks in the Selma, Alabama area marched over to Montgomery. Mm -hmm. So you saw the film Selma with Oprah I did. And Free and all that. So yeah. that's what that was. That was Bl Bloody Sunday because a lot of those people were killed or injured. So they call it Bloody Sunday. So they were doing baby, basically commemorating that. And he was there, of course, speaking at the church. And so there were a lot of black folks that stood up and turned their backs. As That's they should. Speaking, as right? they should as have. As they should have. Show that picture, Mom? Let's yeah. see the picture. I'd like to see it again, please. I was reading it. I was down into Craig's words, and I got lost. <laughs> Such a great writer. Craig the writer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's some of the people that you see. Oh. Now, that's how you protest. Good right. for them. You right. go in there, you protest in a bitch face. Mm -hmm. And do shit just like that. They were you weren't loud. Right. You wasn't out of out, you wasn't boisterous. Yeah. You just stood up and turned your back. And that yep. that that was so it spoke so loudly to yep. him. And so, he felt that shit with his Carol Burnett looking ass. Ooh. I'm sick of Mike Bloomberg. Mm -hmm. That motherfucker had the audacity to reach out to uh my podcast to try to advertise. Mm -hmm. We responded with an L O L. <laughs> Second of all, and, and, and as a as a New Yorker, let me be clear about this because the ads that Mike Bloomberg is filthy rich, so he has all this revenue. That he's using to support his campaign and his ad messaging is reaching people who are not familiar with yeah. how dirty and rotten he was in New York City. I live in New York City, so I know. And I get the attractive, I get what, why this is attractive to black people in middle, 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 mm -hmm. middle. That, that brown kicking in, baby. And it's so good. I know. Me. You want some more? I already gave you some Thank more. Thank you. But anyway, I get why this is appealing to black people in middle America, but they don't know. They're not privy to who Michael Bloomberg really is. And he's a fucking Republican piece of shit who instated so many racist policies that really made it hard for black and brown people in New Justin, York City to live. You're moving too fast. You're moving too fast. Hold on. I want you to repeat that again. I'm going to do it in sign language. Go okay, ahead. Okay, come on. <laughs> People forget who Michael Bloomberg really is. He's a fucking Republican piece of shit who actually was harmful to black and brown people in New York City and made it so hard for us to even exist peacefully with his Ellen DeGeneres looking ass. I'm sick of him. And I can't believe that all these black people who are in cities that uh, are far away from New York are falling for the shit and actually allowing this shit to really make their minds over to vote for him and entertain that idea. He has no policy. He has no no substantive uh, platform to speak to us from. He's just got money, and that's what it is. So fuck Michael Bloomberg, and that's why them, that's why them niggas in that church turned their back on his ass, and that's what it was. And I hope they had rolls in their back too when they turned around. And to your point. He is Republican, but he's running as a Democrat. Hold right. on, Craig. I can't speak I'm that sorry, language. I'm sorry. I should have been more clear about that. I can't that. speak that language, Craig. It's too soft. Uh, Your voice oh, I is too soft. So that, mother, that dirty motherfucker actually running as a Democrat, and he's really a Republican. <laughs> and that's fucked up because he's pulling the wool over their eyes. So that's what it is. But we see you, Michael Bloomberg. We see you. And those of us that know who you are, we're going we gonna to spread that word, and we're going to tell everybody we know what we know. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Period. <laughs> All right, we got it out? I got it out. We got it for the deaf, dumb, and blind. Deaf, dumb, and blind. There we go. All right, speaking of deaf, dumb, and blind. Da, 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 da. A Maryland man. Why does this man have to be from Maryland? I love that place. Ain't this where you from? Yes. yes. Just like the bitch that was from Florida that was, that was she, about the She's from Miami, not Florida. She's from Miami, not Florida. Well, you, listen, Baltimore's still in Maryland, girl. So, <laughs> like, he ain't from Baltimore. Oh, uh, okay. This ain't Baltimore. Okay, so what the fuck happened? All right, a Maryland man named Thomas Brian Seaman. Oh, excuse me, Steeman. <laughs> <laughs> but the story is about Seaman. No. Uh-uh. It is. <laughs> Excuse me, I was a typo here. Steeman, 51, mm -hmm. was arrested on Tuesday, February 18th, after stabbing a woman with a syringe filled with semen. What? After the attack, Peter said she thought she was burned by a cigarette butt. Then, <laughs> it's not funny. Then Steeman allegedly asked her, it felt like a bee sting, didn't it? 
Upon arresting Stephen, officers discovered the syringe full of liquid and took it in for testing, which proved to be semen. <laughs> this was Maddie, what? Story. Have you ever been stabbed with semen? Well, well. Craig, don't act like you've never been stabbed with semen. <laughs> Bro, you ain't been a top all your life. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> So this motherfucker then, then stuck this bitch with a syringe full of nut. And then asked her, did it feel like a bee sting? But so why, why were they the in conversation? There's a video? Yeah, there's a video. When you okay. see the video, he's going to act like he doesn't even realize what's going on. Please go. Wow. I got to see this with my eyes. Please. I'm in case. An Arundel County man accused of assaulting a woman with a syringe. Now police say they know what may have been in it. Other syringes in the suspect's home were filled with semen. WJZ is live tonight. Max McGee with the new information from police. Max, disturbing case. The case leaving people shocked and concerned. Anne Arundel County Police say last Tuesday, officers were called to this grocery store in Churchton for an assault with a possible syringe. Video footage appears to show a man stab a woman with something inside the entrance. Days later, detectives say they got a tip identifying 51-year-old Thomas Stemmen as the suspect. He was arrested and charged with first and second degree assault and reckless endangerment. It's a case leaving people shocked. <laughs> Wait, it's not funny. It's not. Oh my God, it's not funny. But, but did you see how he stared at that bitch and, went, and looked around like, what happened, man? What happened to you? Right. He stared at that bitch like, well, what right happened right. to you? Okay, that bitch jumped back. That bitch looked at like, oh, what happened? He's like, that was it a beast thing? God damn. Oh my that God. was hilarious. <laughs> it, wasn't fun. it was funny, but it wasn't funny. Right. Like, that's like a motherfucker steal something from you and then help you look for it. Help you look for it, right. Just slap me in my goddamn face. I cannot believe this he shit. He stabbed that bitch with that syringe and, and she started, it's like, I she said, Ooh. And she's he like, what happened? Oh, yeah. Was it a bee sting? And did you see how he took that arm? You know that motherfucker? How old they say that motherfucker was? 51. 51. But that was a different kind of 51. Yeah. That was like 151. No, actually, that was a he been drinking 151. Actually, that's that was a 50, like. 51, 50. That was a 51, 50. Okay, but but the way the way that motherfucker took that arm. Did you see when he stuck her ass? Like the like the way he did it real quick. <laughs> yeah. Like he was intentionally. Was it okay? So did they test the semen? That's what I want to know. Of course, the, the article didn't say, and I was wondering the same. Yeah. Because this motherfucker definitely yeah, this shooting is something, blanks. Yeah, this is some intentional something like some he tried weird to give. Shit. Right. You know what? It may not even be that. Why I mean, the fuck would you do that? Anything. Corona. Yeah. Coronavirus. Yeah. Bitch, it could have been something going on, honey. Like it. <laughs> is it his semen? It, it definitely was. wasn't. My his. God, did they found more Hell in his no. house? They, they, yeah. This needs to be. I, 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 I call for a further, deeper investigation. Mm -hmm. We need to sweep his house. <laughs> That's right. We need to figure out where is he gathering. Does he have sugar diabetes that he has these needles? That and he... the first thing we're we going to do is castrate this motherfucker so that he can't produce no more of that semen that he been, but see, you know. But see, Dustin, this is the thing. He ain't got it. This him. is why we need to keep further investigating because he might have some black men in the house. Mm. And extracting semen from them. You know, when they do shit like this, uh, and his name is Steeman. You know, you could, you never can tell. Cause you Why remember? he pick her, though? I was thinking the same thing. Well, because she looked like somebody needed some semen in her ass. <laughs> she did with that vest and them jeans <laughs> on. You seen yeah, it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, he might have known her. You could be. Yeah, we, I just, I, I move for a further investigation. Do you move for further? <laughs> I, I guess, but I don't want to be on it. You don't want to be on it. I don't want to know nothing about it. I don't want him or his semen nowhere near me. Yeah, I don't either, but Syringe, listen, I don't want nobody motherfucker. to get in like, here. Like, you can't trust that nigga. Like, you can't have him nowhere around you. You never know when it's going to... Oh! It might be you, shit. Oh. Like, nah. Don't pop uh -uh. my titty, nah, baby. Nah, motherfucker. <laughs> I just don't want to... I just don't... I, I just... I don't... We don't even know what stuck. the fuck to say. This crazy motherfucker yeah. shoving syringes. Yeah, I don't ever want to be stuck with a needle, and I definitely don't want to be stuck with a needle for the semen. <laughs> From steaming. From steaming. 51. Damn. What's going on down there in Maryland, Craig? Uh, we got to get you back home. No. <laughs> <laughs> Craig knew exactly where that grocery store was, so he said, that's a suburb outside. Of, uh, Craig was like, that's was somewhere like, no, outside. No, that's in the northwest. Yeah, on the northeast end of Annapolis. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the northeast end, Trump speaks on the coronavirus. Also in the news, a picture surfaced with him being introduced at a Black History Month reception Thursday in Washington, D.C. to chants of four more years from the crowd and someone also screaming that he was the first black, black president. 
Now I know, and, the, the, and that came from a colored voice in the audience because I heard that. <laughs> that came from a colored voice, a Negro, mm. that said he, this lady right here, <laughs> he, this lady right here with this orange cap on, terracotta. <laughs> Terracotta. Terracotta. That's the color. That's the color. Terracotta. It's terracotta color <laughs> cap on his head. You got to say the cotta. That he is the first black president. Mm. Y'all girls know it. We, we just left Black History Month yesterday. Mm. Y'all got to get y'all life together with Christ. This is so ridiculous and it's so insulting. Like e even him speaking, bitch, you look like the coronavirus, yes. first of all. So you ought to know where it came from. And then he was so stupid, the rhetoric that he that he uh, stated afterward when he was saying like, oh, it's just gonna disappear. It's gonna just, it'll be just like a miracle. It'll just disappear and go away. He is so stupid and so disrespectful to the office of the presidents of the United States. I just hate the fact that we even gotta deal with this bitch and I wish natural causes would hurry up. Um, well, you know, I do believe that he is like Palpatine and he will return in episode nine. Nine. <laughs> yes. Let's run the, uh, let's run this footage, please, Mo. Thank you. Now the Democrats are politicizing the coronavirus. You know that, right? Coronavirus. They're politicizing it. We did one of the great jobs, you say, House President Trump doing. They go, oh, not good, not good. They have no clue. They don't have any clue. They can't even count their votes in Iowa. They can't even count. <laughs> no, they can't. Now the Democrats are. Uh, it's really not much to say. There's nothing to say. Let's look at him at this uh, thing here. Look at these colors. Look, look at, at these, these that's silk and diamond. Yep. Angela Stanton's uh, crook ass. Oh. That's Angela Stanton in the yellow uh, hair rep or whatever it is. You do know. So Angela Stanton, for those who don't know, is the bitch that wrote the book about Phaedra oh. being a criminal and, and her, her ties and her hand being in Apollo's business dealings that led him to prison. Uh, Angela Stanton is a person who wrote that book, and she's also a raging homophobe, and she's also a Republican. And so... She's go. transphobic. Yeah. She's homophobic. Go, so, can, so they go. Well, we didn't see. That's that what it is. Um, and the fact that she is in that room with Donald Trump, um, and having that sort of access to the literal president of the United States, it's just shameful. Okay, it's just shameful me, at this I, point. I, I like Dustin for me. Angela Stanton has been here. She's been. I've interviewed her or whatever. When I first met her, and like, listen, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Mm -hmm. This new Angela Stanton that I that that's been here. She wasn't the first person. She wasn't the the Angela that I met. Like the Angela that I met, I really liked her. Um. I I, I didn't have an issue. I met her. I met her husband. You know, I I we 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 ate in the house. So it's just like when this stuff started surfacing and I started seeing you know her you know speak her views out over the internet. I just was like, well, wow. Like you know, I was I was you know blown away. However, I've never really challenged her. Like, I've never challenged her like a... Mm. Mm -hmm. Because... And it's not because I'm afraid to challenge her. Right. It's just because that wasn't the woman that I met. And I, I for me, I want to know what happened in between that time. Like, what what happened? Like, did someone hurt... Did, what, did, did, did one of us hurt her? Because she does say a lot of things that I think is kind of like transphobic and you know, uh -huh. a lot of things that are homophobic. Mm -hmm. You know, she does say a lot of this stuff, but then when, when I when I had my when I had dealings with her She was warm and receptive to you. Yes, yeah. and I and I I I, I, I I I liked her. I liked I'll say this. So I don't know like what happened. I don't know her personally, mm -hmm. right? And so I I I too have friends who Carlton is my friend. People think Carlton is a bad person right now, but I know him and I know that he's not. So I get that. And all I know about Angela Stenson. So no, I'm not saying I, that she's. No, I'm not like saying I don't. That. I don't know her personally. But what I will say is this: for you to publicly align yourself with someone who has presented, and I'm talking about Donald Trump. Yes. For her to publicly align herself with him when he has been so blatantly racist, so blatantly problematic in so many different ways. I. Th what is it that you are like? Like, why are you doing this? 
What, why, why, what, what, what underneath his policy umbrella has become such a priority for you that you're willing to be dismissive of all this other harmful shit that affects people far and wide? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is it that makes you want to align yourself with that? And the reason that people like me have a bad taste for her in our mouths is because we immediately associate her with those things, those bad things, because she's associating herself with them. Yeah. So and, like, and what the fuck I, you want me to do? Yeah, bitch? but for, but this for me, it it blew me away. Could you be yeah, in my position? Yeah, it was a polar opposite of what you knew this person to be. Yeah. And how you were received by them? I get. It. She I totally came get here. It. We ate. We had a nice time. I loved on her. She loved on me. Mm-hmm. Like I, 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 she's never been disrespectful to me yeah. you know and it's just like when and then it's just like when these things happen and it's just like i, I for me i i say i like to respect people's differences of opinion yeah. some people say tomato some say tomato some yeah. people say to potato some say potato okay i get it as i respect the differences in it but i i've, I've heard and i don't know this to be true I've heard that she has that her her own child is is, is homosexual. I don't know nothing about this. Yeah, I've lady. heard this like because she has lots of friends and things in our community that is, that this this friends with her that that sometimes that she said things like and she 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 was gonna help me when we were communicating because she has a publishing company. She was gonna help me with my next book, like publishing the book and mm-hmm. like all of this stuff was going on. We were talking and then when this stuff started exploding like this, I was like, we can't do that. Who is this woman? Who? who this is not who I met. I so didn't what's mean the, this. So then, the, so that bit, like, what's the motivation? What is it that is making her feel so comfortable to be so brazen and bold with her her speech and and just speak these things out to so many people? Um, what is it? How, what what is it that makes her be warm to you, but still immediately identify with these these views that are harmful to you? What is it? To you, to me, to her to child, me, to her own child. To her child. black ass. Yes. And it, 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 and if I know she's going to watch. And if you are watching, it hurt me. Yeah. Because I, I, ha- mm. I, li- I like, I, I like, I don't dislike her now. I yeah. like her. And it hurts me. It puts me in a, in a very uncomfortable position. Yeah. Like. Because black women are my sisters to me. I can call them sister. It's Absolutely. just like, sister, why are you, like, what happened? What, what is it? What, what, what changed? Like, what did I, that, that, is this the way you feel about me? Like, you know, I don't have any ill. And those are some real questions when you're talking about a person who you have a personal interaction with. Those are real concerns. Like, you've, you've made these blanket statements and, and, and expressed these views that are immediately related to you and your, your mere existence, Madison. So, Figuring that part out is it, it, hard. Yeah. And do you do you understand the way I feel? Does completely, I, I feel completely. I be on the fence with it because sometimes she makes like posts and stuff, and she posts about the because I'm de- I'm definitely anti-Trump, and I, and just because I'm anti-Trump doesn't mean that you have to be anti-Trump. But it's just like like girl, you're not listening to the, to the, to this man's rhetoric. Are you not like watching his view? Like this stuff don't just. It's, it's, it's not just affecting, this is affecting everything across the board. And it puts you in a fucked up position as someone who is personally aligned with her because it makes you feel like you have to take a certain stance when it comes to certain shit. And that sucks to be somebody's friend and feel like you have to do that. Yeah, because people tag me, like she'll make a post about trans or she'll make a post and they'll tag me. Mm-hmm. And, it, and like they'll go on, because they've seen her mm-hmm. here on the, sh- the show. They've seen me communicate. They've seen this stuff. They've seen the interaction. And I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'll just be like, I don't. But Angela, if you watching this. Get your ass out the White House. <laughs> if you watching this, don't you never take no motherfucking picture like that again. Because even though she's expressed that shit, I can't even believe I'm saying this, but sometimes people can change. So maybe as time goes on and she really reflects and thinks back to all of these things and what it really meant for her to identify with all of this stuff, maybe she will have a change of heart later on. So I, I, I just think she needs her. to step back. Well, that's, well. So she's it. not going to have a, a change of heart now because he, he was the first president to, to pardon her. How did they find each other? I just, I have questions too. I, I have lots of questions that I would love to ask her without it being in an irate space. Right, right. Without us being 
It's about being informed. Yes. Right? We lit- we're confused as to why this was something that you wanted for yourself. Especially you, because that's your girl. So, like... I like her. Yeah. I, and I didn't even say ED. Like, like. No, still do. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, her, yeah. and it, 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 it hurts me in my heart that, you know, you'd, up, you'd, you'd be in support of something that is dismissive of me, dismissive of my existence, dismissive of of of, of my identity and 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 detrimental to me because those a lot of those policies that are in place are very detrimental to me and to people of color so in that case yeah i move to have a conference mm-hmm. conversation a sit down a mediation. something a mediate yeah. something to find out at what black, what gay, what trans hurt you? What the fuck happened? And it wasn't me. You, you? All right. Well, we were just talking about the coronavirus, honey. And shit like this is the reason why the coronavirus is definitely in existence, honey. Let's move on. Let's look at this. This old, but goddamn. Nasty, dirty, dirty some of my motherfucking nasty bitch, you. Black toenail having Ooh, ass. You. Dirty fingernail, Ooh. Asics wearing Ooh. ass. This nasty, filthy. Nasty, filthy, low down some of my bitch. Shut white you. around the mouth, motherfucking Ooh, ass. Oh, you strep throat. First of all, you eating out a soup ladle, you uncouth. Oh my God. And you got gray hair, you, all, you should know better by now. Know better. Strep Walking throat. through whole foods. And we got to get in there and eat. That's why I don't fuck with them buffets right now, because the niggas like him. Oh, Corona. Corona. Coronavirus. Listen, you put your lips on it, you get just what you deserve. Broke all out at the salad bar. Mm-hmm. That's what we going to call it. Herpes. That's what he get. That's what he get. Herpes. Herpes. <laughs> Simplex one She's and fucking two. fucking nasty. Like, what are you doing? And who the fuck was recording that? Like, why and are you why? just watching that shit? That's nasty as why fuck. Why you ain't calling the police? That is a, that is a crime against uh, humanity. Go over there and step on his feet or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, what Get the a fuck little, you doing? You know, I keep a little small hammer in my pocketbook, you know. For times like that. Yes, I would. Okay. I should have just been in that store and would have got down on that big toe and took that hammer down on his big toe. That's it. <laughs> He'd have dropped that ladle and everything <laughs> else. <laughs> <laughs> Right on that bitch, right big there. Toe. I hope that hot suit splash your chest, you old rotten oh, nasty uh, motherfucker, you. Uh, booger eating motherfucker. You know anybody eat out the soup at Whole Foods eat, eat booger. a booger too. Earwax nasty. <laughs> Taste their own ass juice. Taste their own ass juice. Yeah. Nasty. Smell their own Talk about me sucking somebody else's toes. That motherfucker had his foot in his own guy. Yeah. Yeah. Motherfucker smell patty. He sniff ass too. Sniff ass. Nasty snip. Wait a minute, hold on, ass. Craig. Your face not balled up too much by then. Hold no, on, let's is, let's is. get off. Let's get off her ass sniffing. Yeah, uh, you know, cut it uh, out. Um, our bad, Craig. Yeah, we sorry, <laughs> we Craig. Sorry, Craig. <laughs> Craig, you like to Craig? We, like, no, huh? we did. We don't want a motherfucking to y'all girls that got y'all sodomy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your sodomy, y'all sodomy badge, fetishes. Yeah, <laughs> we sorry. <laughs> What does a butthole look like, Craig? Literally. Oh what? my God. Craig, you it's don't like me. Puckered lips, like. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> well, do you kiss him? <laughs> Yo. Like lips. Do you kiss him? <laughs> you puck her up. You puck her up. Okay. He wrote about that in his last book. <laughs> What's it called, man? Craig, the writer story. Book of Jewels. Uh-huh. <laughs> Available. <laughs> Where all books are sold. <laughs> even those ones. Even the oh even the God. erotic books, oh honey. Go down there to your nearest sex store mm-hmm. and get that book bag, bro. Oh my back God. Back in that back room with them saloon doors. When you go back there and it's the porn and shit. That's with the holes in the wall. Yeah. Book yeah. of Jews. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! Damn! All right, next up on the call, two Mississippi men were arrested after reportedly trying to cash in a fake hundred thousand dollars scratch off tickets. Police say, police in Flowood. Flowood. <laughs> God damn it! Flowood. Hey, why y'all had to come out of Flowood? Flowood, Mississippi, were notified by the Mississippi Lottery Corporation when two men attempted to turn in the, do- the doctored lottery ticket, according to WAPT, <laughs> WAPT. Otis, Otis Latham. Latham. 47. He did it. Russell Sparks, 
48 allegedly altered a ticket by gluing the winning numbers to match the hundred thousand dollar prize. <laughs> glue the numbers down. Glue the numbers down. Girl, we gonna give E forever. They must say they were playing the lot because you know you can actually scratch the bottom of the ticket off first. Like yeah. what? You ain't even got to scratch the whole ticket. You if you ain't never played the lottery, you can scratch the bottom of the motherfucking ticket off and scan the bitch to know if it's a winner or not. <laughs> so whether the bitch was glued on or not. Right. If you don't got the barcode to that bitch, <laughs> I'd have called the police on these hoes immediately. I'd have told them, hold on a second, let me go back there and get your prize. All 100000 Right. First of all, what is $100,000 doing in Flowood, Mississippi? You ain't got it now, what? Dust. Hello? Mm-hmm. <laughs> get their ass. Call them on them back. Hello? Ah. Uh, Willie Earl. <laughs> You know we got two colors out there with this bullshit, right? Otis Latham. Otis Latham. And Russell Sparks. And Russell Sparks. Mm hmm Willie Earl. <laughs> get, in the, get in the fire truck and the police car and come down here. At the same time. Because <laughs> you know there's one car <laughs> in Flowood. <laughs> Flo These motherfuckers. In Flowood, man. Mississippi. Come on down here. We going to hold the two niggas out here in the back. <laughs> We telling them we getting the money in the back. Y'all come in. Y'all park around the back and come from back there so they can get their grand prize. <laughs> I'll see you when you get here. Otis Latham and Russell Sparks. And I'm kidding to some people's last name, Latham. Really? Fuck me up. Then that's Zaniva's last name, Latham. Yes, it is. <laughs> God damn it. Fuck Otis up. with a D. O-D-I-S. Otis. God damn. Willie Earl and them going to come in down in their police in the SWAT team car. Okay. That's fucked up. But listen, you got to give them an E for effort. You got to. They tried. It's hard down they there. They literally tried it, but but yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Otis Latham and, and his failed attempt at $100,000 in Flowood, Mississippi. You know, it's hard out here for a PM <laughs> when they trying to make the money for the red hair. Let's stay hard. They gonna need a hundred thousand dollars to get out that motherfucking jail. They yeah, is. Going numbers on a goddamn scratch off. Man. Shit, I'm gonna give them bitches an E for F, but I may let them go actually. <laughs> Shit, you give me a good set of glue and some numbers. I may glue that motherfucker down here for the motherfucker uh, the, the the Powerball numbers okay, over there. Okay, for real. Shit. All right, so fuck them. What's next? All right, what's up on the next? Uh, uh is damn, we back in Maryland. <laughs> Craig, can you tell your people to stop acting up down there? And I fucks with Maryland, Baltimore to be exact. Former Baltimore mayor sentenced to three years in prison for a children's book scam. Damn, Greg, is she in your, she your, she your, your lane, too? She a mayor and a writer. My mama got some of them books, though. She does? Oh, she sure did. Miss Gladys. Yes, indeed. Let me call Miss Gladys. <laughs> 410. Greg, let me call Miss Gladys. 410. <laughs> Greg, Miss Gladys got one of this woman's book. From the mayor. My God, the day. From the mayor. From the mayor. Yes. Greg, please tell her. So this basically what she was doing was, it, it was a scam. And so she was using, book, uh, she was getting campaign money in, but she was pretending that it was book sale money. She was pretending that she was selling these books. The, the, I, I uh, summarized it down there. But basically she has a... All right, well, let me read your summary in your handwriting, because you know you wrote this. Uh, and I like to read what you wrote, because you a scammer too. The former mayor of Baltimore <laughs> has been sentenced to three years in prison over a children's children's book scam. Mm -hmm. Catherine Pugh, who was sentenced to three years in prison on Thursday after Damn it was child. found that she had been using her book, Healthy, Healthy Hollies, to disguise hundreds of thousands of dollars as book sales, as book sales and illegal donations. She was a racketeer and a mm -hmm. motherfucking money launderer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She also used this tactic to <laughs> evade taxes in addition to the three-year prison sentence, the 69. 69. 69. 69. 69 year old will also have to serve three years of supervised release upon her release. As for the money she stole, she'll have to pay back $411,948.32 in restitution. <laughs> And forfeit is $669,688.05. So by forfeiting that, that means that she had those assets and she just has to, like, give it up. Yeah, I think, the, I, I believe the 669000 would have been, like, her um, her uh, retirement package. Yeah. And all that kind of stuff, right? Listen, Mary, we got Mary and Barry. In DC, y'all don't play up there. Baby, we don't play. <laughs> baby, y'all girls you are full can of scam. Y'all are scammers. Y'all full of scam, smoking, cracking, write a book. God damn it. 
big hair on a Pepsi. But but Catherine Pugh was one of I believe maybe two or three um, because the last few mayors in Baltimore have been like black women. So there was some conversation around, well maybe we should stop, you know, bringing in black women. So so that like really thanks a raised, lot, Catherine. Exactly. So that was that. Like don't do that. Raised. They should have exactly. said that when Mary Berry was in there, but Mary Berry <laughs> had that shit in order though. Right. I don't give a fuck how much crack that nigga smoked. Right. He had that shit in order. Okay. Mary Berry wanted the bitch to fuck off with. <laughs> and Catherine Pugh looked like she wanted the bitch to fuck off with okay. either. That bitch knew how to put something. Else. It was somebody told. No, yeah, you know it was that. somebody saying, you going to pay the money? Yep. <laughs> what I you going to do, bitch? I know about them books, bitch. I know about them books, bitch. I know about, I know, I know know about know? the cat in the hat, bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> green eggs I am. I, am, I, am. <laughs> I can eat green eggs in hell. Well, I'm sick of eating uh, green eggs and ham while you over there eating raw steak, bitch, and oysters. That's right. right. Fuck and crab. Okay. Well, you know down there, Mary, like crab. Out, so I'm going to tell you like this. <laughs> you better get in that house in the next three minutes or you're going to be walking down that street with three shoes. For three years. Two on okay. your feet and one in your ass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine Pugh thieving ass. Catherine, you slick son of a bitch. But listen, we can't, we can't, we can't knock a bitch with trash. She's it's a nine, hustle. I ain't so mad. She's sixty nine years old. She out of here almost anyway. Goddamn it. And to pull a quick four hundred eleven thousand at sixty nine years old, I think it's admirable. Hey, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Hey. She, she can come be my man. Finesse God. Yeah, she uh, that ain't no city girl. That's a city woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's a city woman from the four one zero. Scraps on her ass. Call that pussy pussy tigger. <laughs> She gonna have scratch on the ass. Uh-huh. Call that bitch motherfucking lock. <laughs> Shackle. That's it. That's it. Side oh turn, my god. Man. My god today. Boy, they don't play down there. Four hundred and eleven thousand dollars. Shit. All right, moving on. Lena Waithe, the my screenwriter nigga. best known for Queen and Slim, The Shy, and the Boomerang series on BET, is the first gay character in a Disney film. Also, it's been reported that she and her wife of two months just announced their split. Mm-hmm. The streets are saying that Waith and Cynthia Erivo. Erivo have been having a secret affair. Oh. Listen. Come on, Dustin. You, you deep in this. Let me tell you something right now. Lena Waith is living the dream, she okay? Is. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. She she cleared it on Master of None, you know what I'm saying? Created this brilliant Thanksgiving episode, got the Emmy Awards that she deserved, and now we're, we're privy to her vision creatively, and also with that comes a peek into her personal life. And so we now see the breakdown of her marriage, you know what I'm saying? I like Lena Waithe, and I want to be friends with her. I feel like we can have a good time together on the weekends. I like her style. Mm. Mm-hmm. So you'd be married for two months, and you'd be married, and then you. Well, have I wouldn't your... be married anyway. So but you, know you have your. Well, that's you... that lesbian, you know. That's that emotional, you know what I'm saying? All that shit. So would you have a side piece? A side piece? Nah. You'd have a piece and a side piece. I would never do any of that. I'm a man of integrity. Mm. You'd have them together. I love hard. So would you have them together? I wouldn't have no side piece. I would just focus my, concentrate my efforts on. You know, one person that deserved all of that. And if not, I would just have everybody I wanted. I think that's the difference. If you're going to buy into a relationship, you know, it should be something what's, that... What's your sign? Stop. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm I like playing. that. My sign, I'm an Aries. My birthday is Dear April God. 10th. It's actually coming up. Dear God, you're Aries. Yeah. Dear God. Why do everybody react like that? My mother is an Aries. Shout out to Miss Mary. Yes. God bless you, Miss Mary. Miss Mary's April 16th. That's what's up. Happy my birthday God to her. Today. My God. April 10th. <laughs> That's all I can say is my God. That's nothing to be that's nothing that you want a day of. You don't want a day of an Aries. I mean, you know. Strong will. You don't want a day. Stubborn. You don't. So that's what One this means, because I, I really don't know. People always react to me like that, Maddie. When I tell them my birthday and shit, they be like, what's your sign? I'm like an Aries. And they always be like, oh, like, you know. Yeah. And I used to get offended, like, well, fuck you. No, shit. don't be offended. You know what I'm saying? But now I just play it off. No, don't be offended, baby. Yeah. My, I'm t- my mother who raised me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. April 16th. And I'm a Libra. Okay. You balance. No. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I be up, you know. So your scales tip here and there. Okay. But with my mother, sometimes mm-hmm. they be way mm-hmm. over here, and then sometimes they be way over here. Cause Ms. well, Mary, I think I feel like I mean I she's think a I'm... lot to digest. 
Everybody love her. I love, I love, bitch. I get out of the street and windmill about my mom with my wig off, bitch, and you no better. panties on, bitch. I, and I pistol whoop a bitch by my mama. You better. Your favorite bitch. I pistol whoop a hoe by my motherfucking mama. <laughs> by Miss Mary. By my mama, bitch. On national TV, I will pistol whoop a bitch on national television by Miss Mary. Message. So Message my problem. thing is, my thing is this right here, okay? My mom is allowed to digest. And I know this. Sweet, <laughs> loving, can cook. Can pray. Can pray. I wish she was here. I know. And I, I heard no, golf ball I, I, through I a straw. I knew I was going to have me a play. Mama, you know what I'm talking about. I heard golf ball through a straw. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're talking about. She do too. She Shout watches. out to Miss Mary. But Aries gang. Shout out to Miss Mary. I she is a it's a lot of script in that. And it's just sometimes we butt heads. Yeah. So anyway, that's my birthday. I guess that's you know. Alright, I get it. Yeah. Alright, so what we gonna do by 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 Miss Lena? We ain't gonna do shit. Let her live. Lena chilling. Looking good, feeling good. Lena was at the uh, Black Women in Hollywood luncheon a few weeks ago, like during the Oscars week. She looked great. Um, she's bringing great art into the world, like that other she's shit. She's been on the personal shit. Yeah, she's been on the read of course too. she came to see us. You know, shout out to Lena Wave. We need to be friends. She's a writer that I respect. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And who's this bitch? All y'all hoes got girlfriends and niggas on the side. Right. Bitch, don't be judging nobody for that. Y'all thought just because I think a lot of people were are are, are um, I guess intrigued by this story because it's a lesbian relationship, mm -hmm. and so them having these sort of problems that literally mirror the things that are going on in heterosexual relationships. But I most think it's lesbians I know people. got a girlfriend on the side. I'm friends with both of them, <laughs> <laughs> and the nigga. <laughs> Well, he's definitely my friend. Mm. Anyway, Sarah Boone, 42, of Winter Park. Here we go back in Florida. Back. Sarah Boone. This is Florida, because I know Winter Park. This is Orlando, ain't it? This is Winter Park. Chi Chi, don't do Orlando, because they'll fuck you up. By just Orlando and Winter Park is two different places, but they in the same area. They, they, got, they cross the street. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah Boone, 42, of Winter Park, allegedly told yeah. police that two that the two were playing hide and seek. <laughs> but the police said a cell phone video raised suspicions. Police said George Torres, 42, her Jorge. boyfriend. Jorge. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Could be heard yelling for help while inside the suitcase. Hell no. Prompting Boone to respond. That's what I feel like when you cheat on me. Damn. Florida man dies after girlfriend leaves him in a suitcase alleged they were playing hide and seek. Mm -hmm. That's a video. You ready for it? I'm ready. Come on. My God, the Coming day. in, Sarah Boone charged with second-degree murder in the death of her boyfriend, Jorge Torres Jr. According to the Sheriff's Office report, Boone told deputies she and Torres were drunk, playing hide-and-seek, when she zipped Torres in the suitcase, but then passed out. Boone telling police when she woke up hours later, she found Torres dead. Investigators, however, questioning her story after finding two recordings on her cell phone where they say they could hear Torres yelling at Boone that he could not breathe. Just coming in, Sarah Boone. First of all, this bitch looked like Tommy and from Power in the face and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 bitch, we know you did it. Yeah, you know we what do. I'm saying you did it on purpose because you was mad because he cheated on yeah. you. Yeah, right. You know, and Jorge, so. <laughs> She zipped him up. Now I got questions. Well, That's a strong I, I got bit. questions for Jorge, but I, I we ain't gonna get no answers because unfortunately, well, Jorge you know, gone. Grand opening, grand closing. My but why is, did you get in the suitcase? Right, right. And how did the police hear you saying that? Well, they heard it on video recording on her phone. Once they confiscated her oh, phone, she recorded it. Yes. So that's how they Of course her dumb ass. I need did. to go in there and be her defense attorney. <laughs> you you gonna you gonna help her make it, Maddie? Yeah. Nigga, you got in that suitcase. I didn't put you in there. I just zipped it. All I did was zip the motherfucker up and push the bitch out of the bed. Three floors down. Girl, he, fit in that what, uh, what kind of he Mexican girl, you know the Mexican number three one. 
here's my thing, <laughs> right? What exactly? That's my question. What kind of suitcase was it? Because there had to be some sort of airflow, at least through the zipper, right? Ain't now bitch gonna get me in a suitcase and zip me up. I ain't getting in no suit. But this the gag. Why in the fuck is y'all over there motherfucking letting this damn woman... 42. 42 years old, you know... Of winter park. Record you doing anything. Girl. Mm -hmm. it was bae, get it? Bae, won't we listen? <laughs> bae, why don't you get inside of the suitcase? Okay. Let us, like, let us play what? a game. <laughs> bae. The fuck you mean get inside a goddamn suitcase? What is it? Jorge, ayúdame, ven acá. Jorge, ven. Ven para aquí. Them motherfuckers, they probably have been drinking and shit. You know what I'm saying? Them bitches out there drinking that respirator. They was drinking, yeah, that yeah. Respirado. Respirado. They, 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 was, they was fucking drinking and shit and just got caught up. And she said, ven, ven, ven para aquí. Because I know he ain't just, ain't no way he just folded up in no suitcase like that willingly. Like. Jorge. Jorge, Jorge, escúchame, ven para aquí. Vamos, vamos. Yo, yo quiero jugar. She was like, that's the last <laughs> time, that's the last bitch you're going to have on me, nigga. Yo get quiero, the suitcase. Yo quiero jugar. Ahora. Damn. Ven, ven, get inside. <laughs> Le, hold on, I got my phone. Let me ven see aquí. how you look. <laughs> ven aquí. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me show you how you look. Let me take my picture of my phone and let me see how you look. Oh, you look so good. Hold on. Don't say anything. Okay. Don't shit. what is there any last words you want to say? Like, wait a minute. <laughs> he found out there with the bitch. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. When she said, Are there any last words that you want to say to your to, to su madre, to your mother? <laughs> That's it. He thought that bitch was playing. She she was playing. He told she said this is this is what it sounds like when you cheat on me with your fucking little cock. <laughs> Zip. That's it. Poor shout out to Jorge. Jorge, listen, we don't know where you at, but honey, you know, all I can say is pack light. <laughs> I ain't gonna pour it out for you, but I'll drink for you, Jorge. That's shit. it. This song is dedicated mm -hmm. to my Jorge. <laughs> <laughs> With that gangster lean, With that okay. gangster lean. Okay. Why did you have to go hey. <laughs> so soon? This one's for my homie, my Jorge. It seems okay. like yesterday. Yeah. We were rolling <laughs> in the hood. And now I'm gonna keep your memory alive. Yeah. It's like a Jorge. Hey, woo. I, 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 come on. I tip my 42 in your memory. Took Dang. a drink and I zipped and winked and cried. <laughs> Child, rest in peace, Jorge, girl. Rest in peace, Jorge. And Amanda Salazar, you got, what's her name? Uh, Sarah Boone. Sarah Boone. You talking about the girl that killed Selena. Girl, all of it. Listen, I... Salvador. <laughs> right. Why Trust do I call no her bitch. Amanda Salazar? <laughs> <laughs> Trust no bitch. Oh, and I feel like it's beady beady bomba. Hey. Uh, a Metro UK reports that a patient named Patient A, with your God in heaven. The fuck they got? Patient A was transitioning from a woman to male and only consented to two gender assignment procedures. He stated during a tribunal that Dr. Marco Capisi mm -hmm. altered a consent form to say that the patient allowed Dr. Julio Garafa Garafa to remove his vagina. Let me start at the beginning. Patient A did not realize his vagina was removed until a week into his recovery. Before the procedure, he repeatedly told both doctors that he didn't want his vagina to be removed at the Highgate Private Hospital in October of 2016. At the what? Highgate. Well, there you go. Right First of there. all, I would have been down to the hospital there, named Highgate. Highgate. There, there, there you go, there. right there. Everybody in that motherfucker was zooted. They had smoked one before they clocked in and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Before they went to wiping scapels and shit, the motherfuckers. He, he, like, how could he? Okay, you didn't understand me. Let me read it again. <laughs> He stated during a tribunal that Dr. Marco Capisi altered a consent form to say that the patient allowed Dr. Giulio Garafi to remove his vagina. Mm -hmm. Patient A 
did not realize his vagina was removed until a week into his recovery. Now that's where I got to draw the line right there. Because what the fuck you mean you ain't realize your motherfucking vagina was gone? Well, babe, you know maybe that he was. Is it trans or? Is yeah, he's a he's a he's a trans man. Oh, that's okay, fucked up. Okay, yeah, okay. he's a trans man, and you kept saying he in vagina. Like, yeah, he's a trans man. Yeah, it's a man, but like, I like he's a trans man, and he had his. What you mean? You ain't know your pussy did, had left. Yeah, he didn't know. <laughs> Listen, I know everything that go on my he pussy. He knew. Right? He knew. You know what I'm saying? I can feel when the hair growing in that motherfucker. Yeah. I'd have felt a little air or something and been like, what the fuck? So, so she got nothing. He, he had. He has nothing. He has he. nothing. He has nothing. So he's just a space. I no. don't know. I like. It's probably like a doll now, like a Ken doll. Oh my god. No, nah, I just. Uh, but but at the end of the day, if there's ever been a way to violate, there's no more blatant way to violate somebody than removing their goddamn genitals. Body. Like what the fuck you? You mean? start removing genitals, I don't fuck with you. How would, she, how would he use the bathroom? She dead. She gonna be gone. I don't know. She not being. She got the bag. He got the bag. I don't know. We need to do some further investigation into this, Chi Chi. She not being. She gone. Yeah, he gone. Well, either way it go, like all the the whole trans thing and shit that makes this like sensational. But at the end of the day, somebody done stole somebody pussy. Yeah. And I, and, and, I, and I like, you know what I'm saying? That's where I draw the line. That's you done right. stole my motherfucking. You think you finna you take my took dick my off pussy. underneath me? You done took my pussy without my consent? Exactly. Like, fuck you mean? Like, that's where we draw the line. So, yes, the whole trans thing and, like, his vagina and shit, we're going to be very respectful to these pronouns. And yes. That, that was a trans man. That's a man. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So, that part ain't, that's not fun. Mm -hmm. But, like, at the end of the day, somebody it's, done stole your pussy. Yeah, somebody and done stole so it. I, like, I, I, that's. Man. Bitch done, wait, 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 bitch done took my carpet. <laughs> took everything I had. Somebody that came in and walked off with my car. Who in the hell left the gate open? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody that took my <laughs> I just had a steam. <laughs> <laughs> Who done came here and got my rug? Wait a goddamn minute. Wait a minute. My whole rug has been lifted. Oh my God. Somebody called Mary's coffee. <laughs> Hoover, nobody <laughs> does, does it like, like you. you. Listen, High Point Hospital, y'all bitches going down. And you deserve it. Down there Fuck snatching all rugs. All That's right. <laughs> Patient <laughs> transport, everybody at work at triage, all you motherfuckers was in on Bitch, it. Y'all snatching rugs and lifting gavels that down was there. a team we, operation. Like the whole hospital need to be going down. We gonna send the bulldozers down there and knock that motherfucker down. Take the motherfucker pussy. down and give me back my <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. That's All right, it. ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of our show. At Damn. the end of our show, yes, baby. At the end of our show, we do what we do. And, and bitch, you know we do what we do. One got a motherfucking go. And this is, listen, Craig, y'all did it tonight. Oh, y'all give me some, the nigga shit. Y'all put something that's nearest and dearest to my food. heart. Fast food. I don't eat none of this shit. I don't eat none of this shit. Fuck y'all. I don't eat none of this shit. Baby, y'all put Fuck something that's nearest and dearest to my heart. Well, let me show up because McDonald's paid me very well. Well, so you, better, to listen, you better say I, I eat all of them. I know who ain't going. You in that right. I know who ain't going. <laughs> and I'm going to tell y'all motherfucking hoes like this. Listen, put that shit behind us, uh, uh, Mo. Fuck all that. Right. Put that behind us. That's right. There you go. Let me scoop back where I can see this here. You scoop, see, scoop that. You see them color folk down there? Bro, let me cover that ass You see, you right see them color folk, color folk. Oh, oh, that's all right. Craig down there taking gavels. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> At least he ain't lifting carpets, honey. <laughs> right out from underneath you, man. God like, damn. damn. Blind carpets in this motherfucker. <laughs> What's the bitch person? God me, damn. damn. Lord, God will get me. <laughs> Can the bitch lie? <laughs> what was his old name, Jasmine? <laughs> uh huh. Hit it, Peebo. <laughs> God forgive me. And we, we sorry, y'all know we we're a comedy laughing, show. But that, that, and it ain't that, funny because if somebody reach in here and take my sausage and potato pot, bitch, you going to jail? What? What? Y'all take my sausage and potatoes without my permission? You motherfuckers is going bitch, down. Ah, you you think you gonna take the the very essence Mr. of essence everything that of my I got? Being Are you out your goddamn mind? And, and listen, I don't you dare give me no rug. I don't and want I no took goddamn. I would my shit back. Oh. You can stick it back. I'd be like, give me my shit. Give back. me my motherfucker back. Give me some Elmers and glue woke that bitch up. right back on there. I woke up like, uh, excuse the fuck out of me. Huh? Run my pussy. Run me, run me back my pussy, Hell nigga. Yeah. I don't want that. I don't give a fuck how much bird you see on my face. That's it. <laughs> I said I didn't want that. 
So, okay, so one got to go, right? So right, Chick-fil-A me, good as fuck. Straight up. Okay, let me let me get down here in there. Yeah. All right, move that chair, Craig. Ain't no way on God's green earth is I'm going to let McDonald's go. You motherfuckers is crazy. That's on period, semicolon, comma, ellipses, all the shit. You motherfuckers is staying. your goddamn mind if you think I was going to say McDonald's had to go anywhere. I eat that shit every morning. We know. That shit full of carpet and sausage and potatoes. Yep. Human meat. Yep. Bitch. And that's all right. Burger King. Peace out. <laughs> Man. I don't fuck with y'all. <laughs> Peace out, motherfucker. Well, you know, they, they got a lawsuit pending against them because you know they have the Impossible Burger, which is a vegan burger. I heard but that. they've been frying that shit on the same grill with the beef. Uh, so just it's see. It's all good, Craig. Go down there and get you one of the Impossible Burger. No, 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 no. Well, you can lick the patty, bitch. You'll know what meat tastes like. I don't, eat, that. I don't eat the Impossible Burger. Ain't no way on God's green earth ain't now colored folk walking and living on this earth gonna say Popeye's chicken got to go. To and them Popeye. niggas got a fish sandwich now. Who? So all, Popeye. Oh, yeah. So all you motherfuckers that was in line for that chicken titty sandwich, get your ass right back in line for that fish sandwich because it's coming too. But Popeye's ain't going nowhere. That, that chicken sandwich nastier than a motherfucker dust and that shit tasted like goddamn coffee. Well, I put a little lorries on mine, so it was all right. Well, you, you know colored. You supposed to put a little lorries on that A little, little garlic bit. powder. You know little, what I'm saying? Little yeah, little, you know, I had to, I had to elevate it. <laughs> now, you know? the only reason why I ain't cut, cut these motherfuckers' heads off because these bitches got good service. Yes. And as gays and homosexuals. Yes. What? Gays and homosexuals. You know goddamn well <laughs> y'all ain't got no business. No now, business. Eating at the Chick fil A. But if you happen to drive it's out so, of it's so bring good. me a number two. <laughs> and bring me some waffle fries with some Deluxe, bitch. Hell yeah. <laughs> with a frosted lemonade. Yup, yup. Hey. And, and some nuggets. Grill with avocado lime juice, and I don't know nothing about that menu. And if you and if you think you gonna come around here with that bag and ain't no motherfucking extra Chick Fil A sauce in it, take your ass right you back. You come around here. I wish you no, would. No Polynesian sauce. I'm gonna drop you your ass off at Burger King. That's right. Like a chow boy in your ass. Yep, yeah, that's right. That's what's up. They so, said that's where they stole that bitch pussy at Burger King. Yeah, they oh, sure did. The Impossible Burger. That's impossible. Yeah, yeah. Listen, they got three coppers landing in the front door Maybe. right as we speak. <laughs> three rugs on that motherfucker, bitch. They will air lift your ass up out of a whole new world. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, uh, all being said, at Burger the end of the King day, gotta you got to go. go, for that's real. It. Bitch, bitch, that, I ain't never seen no. The last time I saw Burger King, the bitch was on fire when we covered them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 them nasty uh, ass fries. That nasty ass fries. The fuck fry. out of here. I with ain't that never shit. ate a hot fry from Burger King. Hell no. And then you motherfuckers have horse meat or some shit in the burgers. Remember that shit a couple years ago? They said that they discovered it was horse meat in Burger King. Uh huh. Horse meat. But I'd rather have the damn human meats that is over there. Yeah. Serving. Yeah. <laughs> At least I know it's some sausage and potatoes in there. For real. <laughs> For real. <laughs> and a little copy. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the carpet. Oh my god. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This has been our show. It done ran a little bit over the night because I was having a good time with yes. my brother from another yes, mother. Yes. I love you, baby. Ooh. I love you, and I'm so proud of you, Well, Maddie. you better stop kissing on me like I'm that. So you know proud. my tennis man. I love you, yeah, I love you Maddie. God damn it. Ooh, I love you. Shout out to Listen, Maddie. Thank you for having me. Dustin, for real, Maddie. Thank you for coming. Thank y'all you. make sure y'all are following Dustin Ross on his Instagram. Thank you. It's just look at Dustin. You know, you post pictures on Instagram, so that's why I name my account that. Look at Dustin. It's pictures of me. So Instagram, Twitter. Why y'all laugh? Why they start? Why y'all start laughing? Cause you did your little thing with your eyes. Craig, why are you looking in that man's eyes? Fire, Craig! Ah! Fire, <laughs> Craig! <laughs> you the show. I love this. Like what? Why yeah. are you looking into that man's eyes no, no, like I'm that? Looking at the camera. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Craig, that, listen. Do you know a, a friend called him already? A friend. Mm-hmm. Called who? Him. Called him. Oh, what do you mean, call him? Called him, so he's gonna he's gonna be leaving here, going where he needs to go. So oh, where I need to go. Don't, See you in a minute, don't, baby. Don't try to ooh. ooh. Let me explain. Don't something. try to deter him. Let, 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 let me tell you something. I don't have to try. Mm-hmm. When you know your name, oh, baby, when you know your name, <laughs> he can have the little play time. Listen, go ahead. That's it. Go ahead and close Fire the show. Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Fire Craig. Go ahead and close the show. One thing I just learned about Craig is, honey. <laughs> Listen. Don't play. Craig the writer. Mother copy. Okay. <laughs> Craig said. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, sit there. Madison, what a thank la- you last so name. Much. Thank you, baby. My thank baby. you. Baby.
Mwah. Listen, follow him. Make sure he, you're on his Instagram. Follow his work. Support this man. When you see him come to your city, your podcast. Thank you, yes. My podcast tours all over the world. Um, we've been to London, Toronto, so many different places. Uh, so there will be more tour dates coming out this year. Um, the Friend Zone is the podcast. It's available where all streaming platforms uh, are located. So Spotify, SoundCloud, all that shit. Um, and yeah, it's a lot more new shit coming. Like just, just keep up. And I want to say this before we leave in closing. All gay men mm -hmm. ain't the same. Mm -hmm. That's why it's fun and it's the shit. And I love being gay. And I'm so glad it's the revenge. You look back at the motherfuckers you went to high school with. They be looking like your parents. Like you know what I'm saying. And like, you it's all just, handsome. It's just, and, 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 you're like, and 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 it's it's a great thing. I feel like that's our gay privilege. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying at this point to be able to literally curate a life. That is, um, um, I guess, nourishing and, and just, just, just really benefits us. So I'm grateful for that, and I feel like my job is to make it easier for all the motherfuckers that come after me. And part of that is being on platforms like this, which means so much to our culture. So that's why I'm so grateful to you. Thank Madison, you, baby. Get me. Mm -hmm. right, so last time we doing that shit. Wait a minute now, uh, on camera. Uh, <laughs> oh, you have to call that boy and tell him to come over here. Uh, Anyway, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we go. We I love you. Bye. Attention, Maddie Mom. Attention, Maddie Mom. We got a residency, girl. The Queen's Supreme Court has found a home. I need you to report immediately to Mix Atlanta, April 4th, 2020. T.S. Madison will be coming to you loud, live, and in color with a very special guest judge. You can come out and watch us live. Visit www.eventbrite.com and get your tickets now. April 4th, 2020 is our very first date. Come on out and see me. Don't meet me, dear bitch. Beat me there. Maddie Bob, you already know what time of day it is, honey. We are going on vacation. Girl, y'all already know we went down there to that Dominican Republic last year and tore that bitch up. But this year, we taking it down there to Mexico, honey. Actually, Riviera Maya, Mexico. And girl, guess who coming with me? Guess, girl. Guess. Huh? You couldn't guess? Well, let me tell you. The cussing pastor. Ha, 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 ha. That is Matthew be my guest judge July 10th through the 15th. Honey, I need you to rush over there right now and get your tickets at www.qscvacations.com. That's www.qscvacations.com. And honey, listen, don't meet me there, bitch. Beat me there. I love you. See you, Mexico girl. Come on here, pastor. Let's get down to business. This is T.S. Madison. Honey, listen, if you want all the latest tea, gossip, behind the scenes, one-on-one -on -one live streaming with me, you need to be a part of my Patreon. It's only five bucks to get you in, honey. Come on, get your exclusive content today from the T.S. Visit www.patreon.com and get your subscription today. See you in there. Bye. This has been a T.S. Madison and RDE Multimedia Group presentation.